Welcome back to Let's Play EG. We're here in Sector 1 again because we have things to do. Specifically, we have tutorials to ignore. And it feels weird having, like, no jump or anything. But we are here because we need to upgrade our strength. We need to actually do the thing what we came all this way to do. Specifically, I mean, um... I can break it down. Specifically, we spent the entire game collecting all of the... posters. Kind of a big deal. So, now we need to run our sorry butts up to that place. Dang it. Up to that place so that we can actually access Sector Z. I had to put a couple points in strength because of course I've got to get this guy around the corner. Aw, oh, really? I need more? There we go. So this is the same deal that we did before? To get the supercharge module. Just need to lure this guy up here and get him to shoot a rocket at us. Which opens up the door. And now that we have all of the posters, we can enter the hidden sector Z. This is an awkward place, and man, is it lagging hard. And there are some little enemies about. We're going to have to deal with them. They give no nano, because why would they? The whole deal with nano is that you're taking part of their nano fields, and why would these? Why would they have nano fields? Oh, it's getting worse by the second. Now, I'm not really sure what the problem here is with this lag, because it was also doing this during the general tour fight. And, like, understandably, there was a lot going on in the general tour fight. But this game is also not new. And I'll add, I very recently got a reasonably beefy graphics card. This game really should not be doing this. Um, and I feel like that may be a problem with Game Maker, because this game was made in Game Maker, and whatever version happened to be used. You know what, fudge that guy. Just not agreeing with one thing or another. If memory serves, I remember hearing that it could do this, whether it's Oh dear. It could do this even, like, completely independent of what your computer actually is running. Like, you could have a very powerful computer that can't run it for crap, and a very weak computer that can surprisingly run it very well. So 
kind of abandoned spaceship? This is reference to another of Daniel Ramar's games, a very early game of his, called, I think it was Retro Battle. Dang it, dang it. You don't have to kill these guys, you get nothing out of killing them. Because you don't get any nano or anything from them. But it does get them out of your way, so there's that. Oh, I can't even go that way. You know what, whatever, I don't care about that guy. And as far as confronting Sector Z, though... I'm not enti entirely sure where we're going, or what we're doing. We're somewhere. Now these guys are sli slightly smaller than one tile, so you can actually stand there and not get hit. Even though I did. Ah, we made it. And we made it into an unknown castle. This unknown castle is also a reference to an earlier Daniel Ramar game called Castle of Elite. So we're just kind of going everywhere. Thankfully, the people in this castle don't know how to deal with shotgun. Okay, I think I can just squeeze down over here. And then the secret base that I'm sure people can name. We've made our way into Hero. Not Hero Core, because do recall that Hero Core wasn't out yet. As AIs are as dumb as always. Now what's interesting about this um, the Hero section. They had to put these little green blocks around so you could actually maneuver. But it's laid out just like an actual section of Hero. It may even actually be one. Hey, Flip Hero! Oh, maybe that was the troops that the, uh, the Tazen troops that came here before. Well, I'd like to, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I also don't know how to stop. But this section is laid out like one of the levels in Hero. Um, so it's a, it's a three by three of individual like square-ish rooms. And if you explore all of them, you can find some interesting little um, tidbits like that log book from Flip Hero, and this up here. Oh no, I made it out. And a poster! Don you really, Joel?
as part of the ongoing joke of Really Joel and his parents. Um, that poster was actually drawn by Really Joel. And apparently the description says, or Daniel Ramar has stated that not even Really Joel remembers what it means. It's like a bunny or something, though. Now, you may or may not have noticed the teleporter right there above me. That actually goes to a completely different section that I'm sadly not going to be able to show off to you. Okay, we've made it to the end. So I'll speak on this now. We're in Sector Z. There is... Oops. There is a Sector Y. You get to Sector Y by using the Null Driver weapon against General Tor, the final boss, specifically killing him with it. You get the Null Driver within that portal. I think once, I remember something about once you get the Null Driver, it's actually fairly simple to like, use elsewhere in the game. I think you keep it until you close out of the game. So you can even, like, exit to the title menu and then load a different save and you keep the Null Driver. The Null Driver is a general glitch the crap out of everything, and it messes things the crap up, let me tell you. However, getting it is difficult. Because as I stated, you have to go through that portal. That portal does not open up so that you can go in there until you have, for all practical purposes, 100% in this game. That means unlocking everything, doing everything that you can do, I'm not going to be doing it because it involves beating the game on every difficulty, even Ultimortal. Thankfully, not really Joel's, really Joel's dad difficulty. But, because that's impossible, because really only really Joel's dad can do that one. But, at the very least, beating it on every difficulty, including Ultimortal. Um, you also have to get all the collectibles, which we got an, an amount of, but there's a lot of little things that we missed that would be easy enough to go back and get. But then there's also additional challenges, such as beating all of the levels in sudden death mode, where every enemy in the game has one health and 100 armor, and that's it. You have to play through every level of the game that way. Um, there's just so much, like, bonus to how you want to play this game that I'm, I'd be here weeks, probably, if I actually wanted to unlock all of that. I have very little interest in playing this game on even hard difficulty, much less Ultimortal, of all things. So, sadly, I'm not going to be showing that off, and I'm not going to be showing off Sector Y. So, I suppose, as a form of spoiler, Sector Y, there's not actually a lot to it. It's just kind of the end result of using the Null Driver on the final boss. It warps you to a really horribly glitched out version of level 1. That's empty. With maybe a little Easter egg here and there. That's it for Sector Y. Let's continue on into Sector Z. Huh. Oh, all the things in the background there. I can see some things from Hero. I can see myself and things from EG. I can also see bits and pieces from the other games, Castle of Elite and Retro Battle, which EG was, all things considered, EG was one of Daniel Ramar's earlier fully completed games. Um, up until this point, he had only really done Hero, Retro Battle, and Castle of Elite. Uh, I think technically he'd also done Garden Gnome Carnage, but that one's 
more of a gag than anything. So this, this is effectively encompassing all that is everything that he's put together. Oh, there's also... You notice we look like we could go up, but if we go down... Though it's reasonably easy to find, this is a little bit of an easter egg. That's simply Daniel Ramar's, the developer's, initials. And if you fall at any point during this, I assume, anyway, uh, you just get teleported back to the start. So we're doing an amount of universe hopping, and it has thus far been an interesting experience. But I think it's time... oh. Let's get out of here. I remember, as heartwarming as this is, I remember uh, Daniel Ramar stating that he wasn't expecting this game to be as widely received as it was. And in turn, he wasn't expecting nearly as many people to find this as did. Does that count as clearing Sector 1? And there's our intro to Sector 2 with that done. Um, since I'm not going to be tackling anything in Sector Y, or, or, or since I'm not going to be tackling anything in Sector Y, everything else in this game is effectively... left and I will leave someone else to explore. There's not much left. We've seen most all the content there is aside from Sector Y, and maybe some odds and ends here and there. But in order to in order to unlock Sector Y, you effectively have to fill out everything here um, between finding all the posters, which we did, finding all the ribbons, which we did, um, activating four hidden skills, which we did. Um, there's the ten sudden death sectors which is just all ten sectors of the game that you have to play through in sudden death mode. And then the remaining extras and features, of which there are eight more. And many of these are unlocked just by completing the various difficulties, so simply going between hard and extreme and ultimortal would probably get you a fair number of those. But there are at least three off the top of my head that we would have to get elsewhere. And... I will be looking at one of those, but otherwise I leave the rest to you. This has been Let's Play EG, the actual end this time, and I will say I've enjoyed my time with this game. I, I still believe that perhaps this game doesn't mesh with me as well as it could, but I have enjoyed my time with it. And so, until next time, everyone. <laughs>